Well, we went to 35 minutes and it stopped. Well, I know a situation I was saying out in um, the nudist area, Tampa. A man said he wanted to get rid of a girl because another girl was coming in. And she had been there for more than three days. And she said, I ain't fucking leaving. And anyway, he got the cops eventually. You know, she said she was going to beat up another girl if she came in. And he got her, got her for assault. And that's how the, you know, the sheriff got the girl out of there without having him file the lawsuit and play the whole eviction game. And you're not going to get these girls evicted easily, y'all. They'll use everything they possibly can to stay longer, and then they'll start giving you a fucking mess. And that's why I stay away from American. Like, why, why the fuck would you want to be an American, like, in this country? you got to really sign up and denounce everything American. Other examples. I mean, it's 100%, just so you know, all right? I know of women who would, right in here... Marry a husband, her marry a man, knowing he's eventually going to die because he's got some kind of terminally ill cancer shit or whatever. And they think that they're just going to go ahead and live. And I do know of people who are living off of their Social Security money because they get these Social Security benefits when the guy dies. They have it in their mind. I know a woman who wanted, thought that the guy with multiple sclerosis was going to die. Like, you don't die with MS. He's out in um, in Tampa area, and she was going to move in out of her. So now, what do you do if you're a woman or if you're a man? My daughters, I, pff, my sons, I, I, I could never see them. That whole 18-year-old stuff is like a bunch of white supremacy shit. It's not working, y'all. They kick the child out, go to college, and then live for four years, and then they kind of stumble back in, and they leave. Now, what ultimately, you know, what what needs to happen is you need security from mommy and daddy, which obviously the whole breakup thing and the whole courts, all that white supremacy shit, it ain't working. So in my situation with my children, this was always going to be, but obviously they are where they are now and we don't know where they are. They could live with mommy and daddy. And I'm set, y'all, with being my disabled situation. I, I, I got it made, y'all. But that's not the popular thing to do. You're not going to be able to get any dollars out of that, really, if you're a mother. They look at this kind of stuff. They're not into actual emotional feelings, love. They're just straight up looking for what they think is going to be security, and they're just stupid thinking that their security is going to be in white supremacy dollars. They were trained into this shit, y'all. These churches are the better, best trainers of this kind of stuff. Uh, I mean, I know a man named Leonard Wolf, two Fs. He had a really unique, hardcore Catholic guy idea whereby he wanted to, you know, get people into a big complex, big building, would maybe like four stories, you know, big apartment building, whereby everybody has their own, like, separate apartments but they're all family that's kind of interesting teal swan that's a compound out in utah that's interesting so yeah i think about myself having female roommates kind of things with the whole live-in aid thing i can have one for free being disabled as severely as i am Look, y'all, I'm blind, and it's. I'm going through a new exacerbation right now of multiple sclerosis. People say I don't have it, which I appreciate that. You don't see it. Good. What is that back there? I wonder. Oh, it's a bag. I sent some bag. There you go. It's a bag for the uh, CVS for my uh, 500 milligrams. I'm all done with those, by the way. So, my, my, today's my first day off the drugs. No more dope man for me. <laughs> What do you do? I say, you know, if, if mommy and... Look at all the pastors and the, the children, where they're living. They're all moving far away from their children, their, their parents. I know my own pastor in Homestead Township. His one son moved out to Boston. Another son moved down to Texas. Oh, what's well, their job? Why can't his family stay together? Why can't he just be in love with mommy and daddy? I'd love to be close to my mother and father, but they're just straight-up drug users and alcoholics. I was born into that kind of lifestyle. I'm not... 
I never did drugs and... The reality is, yeah, I just did drugs this weekend. That's the, that's the prednisone. It's not really a drug, though. It just gets some things changed in your hormones or your brain kind of thing and reduces inflammation like crazy. It's prednisone's a methylprednisolone. It's got different names. But what do you do? What do you do now? If you're these girls, I mean, these... These strippers are better. They're a little more honest. <laughs> but they're, they're liars in the club. Then they come out and they're trying to be uh, more honest. How do you split rent, you know? Or split... Now you got a woman that's in another situation. And a woman here, she was moving in with a guy. And he he hit her. And I heard about them. I'm like, no, that's off. I don't care. It's one. That's it. You press charges too. Of course, they couldn't press charges because she's doing meth. <sighs> So, with that being said, they were buying a house together. And now she's kind of like more of a vagrant kind of thing, you know. She's got cash, but like you can go live in a hotel. She might go live at somebody's place, extra room for a few bucks, you know, five, six hundred dollars a month. That would love, and the people love that. Hey, I got to pay, it's half my rent or whatever, I guess it would be. Well, two bedrooms, you're looking at fifteen hundred around here. They just got a 1500 I don't know, that's what they told me, for a two-bedroom. And uh, the big thing is rent. So they like to split it. And they're splitting it because, okay, well, they kind of threw a leg, you know, and they have sex. That's, you know, I talk about Kellen Winslow in my video. It's like he got charged with rape because he brought in a homeless girl. What's her benefit to the sex? I mean, what's the man's benefit? He's paying for it, obviously, but... And then she, he puts her on the street. That's just... <sighs> he has some other rape stuff going on, too, such as the uh, he, he, three women he got. Another one was in o Ocala Forest. Rape is not this whole idea of a man just beating up a woman and taking her, you know, forcing her physically. It's It's... Forcefully, mentally, you know, with coercion, manipulation, it's very common. But that's a big thing for me. I was like, I, I just can't be around these kind of people anymore. These women, they just, they, they're, they're the connivers, they're manipulative. They have to be like that way in, in our society. It's designed that way. But can, can we can we find a way to whereby we can create and have synergy? coming together in uh, living quarters to live together. It'd be, it'd be nice to, but at the same time, it's like, I got my place, you got your place. And I've been more successful with that. I love sleeping with women. Love it. Cuddling all night, holding hands all night. My first, my second wife and I, we, we held hands waking up in the morning every single day for the first year and a half of our marriage. Spiritually, there's no reason why women should ever want to be with me. I can't emphasize it enough. So that's why I'm not so much disqualifying myself, but not qualifying myself. That's whereby I need to get back to grace. And where is grace? If a woman could understand what grace is, whew, that's hot. Stay with your mom and dad till you're in your 40s and 50s. And I know people who are more successful that way. You know? And just live with them. Keep living with them. Have have your lovers. I, I cannot emphasize that marriage is, is definitely not the way to do it. I thought it was, for me, it was a security blanket. It was part of my insecurity, thinking that, okay, this woman's going to stay with me and kind of help me out, too, with regard to like being a caregiver for me. I'm disabled, and my second wife was so helpful, always reading the mail for me and cleaning things I couldn't see. Painting, I couldn't see the, you know. It's got to be synergy, y'all, and it's got to be fair, equitable. These girls are so fucking desperate. They're just, they're not, how the hell are they enjoying the sex? How the hell is a man enjoying the sex if there's not just like, you know, the minds coming together?
it's a real mess, y'all. I think it's the biggest problem in the United States of America, bigger than this, you know, opioid crisis, bigger than the pandemic of the COVID stuff, Omicron. And I, there's, so many, there's so many examples I want to give you of these guys who are telling me these stories that they're going to running into. And, but the thing is, it's like, I, 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 I'm just taking up, this is already more than 30 minutes. First video went all the way over. It got stopped in the middle of it. There's just so many situations. These girls just, just parasiting and cleaving onto men. Even in a situation whereby, you know, a bunch of us were hanging out at, whether it be hostels or hotels in the Caribbean, Airbnbs, sharing places together, even in those situations, these women were parasites, only hanging out with the one Rastafari guy. I got some video, you can see it, just put in Puerto Rico, dog, running, lake, uh, ocean. Her name was Hyper the dog. And you can see him, Jamaican dude. And she would only hang out with him if he brought out the alcohol. Highest girl we're ever going to see out there in the beach. Um, it's all they know. It's really sad. The problem is the guys see that and they say, okay, let's get her drunk. And then you get fuck her. But the problem is when you got her drunk, it's illegal to do what you just did. You're probably not drunk. Who knows? Just so you can enjoy it kind of thing. And then you just rented the girl for a few days. Or maybe you're able to get rid of her the next day and you're done. You're on to the next girl. It's sick. And, it, and literally, when I say it's sick, it's you're getting yourself sick. So, uh, the synergy's got to be a situation whereby everybody's, it's all fair. That's the thing. It's just, that's the problem with this white supremacy, uh, slavery mentality here in this America. In this America. These girls are, are so into it. I talk about this in my video that I made, see this video by a woman who talked about the role of white men, women in slave, during slave times. They just wanted to live other families. Calvary Chapel, I loved the group. They had four families of more than 10 children. I thought there was something there. But again, 100% everywhere in this country, everywhere, these women are leeching onto specifically men. Where are we at here? one was it correct I was gonna say 13 one well, I'm guessing that's no, a problem but I got the O one one correct it, it's I think it's still improving though the left eye 13 23 24 but see I know what this you know it's kind of cheating now I've just been hearing so many stories, you know, the past week and a half, two weeks. It's gotten so bad with this whole COVID stuff. These girls have gotten so much more desperate. They're getting these evictions are just like going through the roof. Forty more than forty million evictions filed since November first. And okay, I had a woman here, gorgeous. I didn't even know she was a woman at first because she was homeless. Like, I didn't care, but she was. Uh, She's from Waikiki, half Japanese, half American. Then she moved to Sioux Falls, picked up a case, lost her Section 8. To her and her son moved down to here to go on a beach, met somebody with his girlfriend, I don't know. She picked up a case down here. And then she was homeless, so she stayed three days on, on that. Um, she loved that. Uh, well, she sat on this right here, because she's so little. This is, you know, it's like five feet, five feet one. And then she's on the air mattress. She was hoping she could stay longer with me, thinking that she could play some middle games, like, you know, sexual stuff. But it didn't progress it anywhere at all. Never touched her. I think we hugged once in the kitchen. And then that's, that's where I just said, you know, you, know, you got to get out of here. Because she started to sing, I was trying to sexually assault her. That's where they use these games to try to, to stay longer. And they make you like the girlfriend thing. 
They want to start shit to, to just stay longer, stay longer. And she had cash. She could stay at like a hotel, but she wants to use that to buy other things. I told her my matter. It's like, you know, I, I, I told her I've had a lot of people here off the streets and, you know, it's three days in and then you're out. You can come back after three days, after that, you know, one day off. And one dude here, he, he's gone back and forth between Longwood uh, Mental Place. He was out on a, I should make a video about that. He had a crack charge, cocaine charge, possession, completely dismissed. It's a felony, y'all. I had two prostitutes sleep on that air mattress. One girl got here, and then she's like, you don't want to do anything? I'm like, what? She thought in exchange for a stain, everybody to get something out of it. I'm like, I just ain't going to work for me, y'all. I like children. I, I can't just do, you know, sex stuff because it's, it doesn't feel good for me when I'm not, like, actually into the woman. Anyway. So then she brought her friend in. They both slept, little girls, 20s, on that air mattress. College isn't working anymore. They don't, you know, a lot of people, they just not doing college as much. So where do you go, you know? And I, I got to make sure these women are just coming up to me just because they want a place to stay. And that's the thing. I've been here at this place for a while. It gets around town a little bit that it's got a nice place. Anywhere he goes, he's going to have fun. Miami, the Caribbean, they did the Tampa stuff, Orlando and the same places. Obviously, I go to Hawaii. I travel a lot. They don't mean to travel. I just do. And, okay, maybe he'll bring me with him. Stay away from it, y'all. Um, I mean, don't even try to make anything happen, y'all. Just leave it alone, guys. Women, too. It's like, you know what? Just leave it. The solution is very simple. Grace. Grace. And grace is not parasiting off of these men. You're throwing your pussy at them. What about the integrity and dignity of not just your pussy, but your mind, your health? And I'm questioning so much everything in my life around here. You know, I just had another man. He, he's he's homeless. You you know. I'm sure many people have seen him, you know, right around video or just walking around the courtyard here. Of course, out the door, he did a lot of work with this uh, nonprofit organization called Day Life something. He was raising money, raising dollars for this organization. He only wore, only wore white. He's an Israeli guy. He's really cool, though. I like him. But... A situation whereby he and his former girlfriend were basically just homeless, just vagranting off of people through the, the Friends organization, the uh, Airbnb, couch surfing, just meeting random people. And I guess I've been really searching myself. I, I wasn't the slightest bit ready for this, to be living on my own like this. And then all of a sudden these girls just... They just you live at. Oh. I don't have it in this video, but let me just look at this. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, I, I can't even show you the, the parking lot areas. This is all luxury over here, y'all. I mean, it's all I ever known. And it's not just here I stay either. I mean, I, I go to places and it's like, oh shit. They want to. And I go to a strip club. Where do you Where do you live? You know, I, I told one woman I was standing on it. I just it just kind of like comes out. Oh. Let me come back. I take, let me just go pay my money and tip out, and I'll be. I'll go come with you. <laughs> the strippers do. They'll do is not as much to pay to lose their job. They'll stay with you for a while. They can kind of get that security that you're going to be, be a place to stay. And then they, being in my you know forties now, and, and of course, so yeah, many, many times I was like traveling the country, just just travel and have fun. But this is about me now. This is about me. I got to take care of me, and then things was kind of go roll with it, you know? Here we are, it's, you know, Monday, that July 18th, 2022, and I, I just got to be in my grace, knowing that I do, I really do desire that female companionship, and uh, it, it, 
it's coming together. And it'll come together however it comes together. I will go back outside now. Get the train on video. I've always liked to have other things just kind of going on, you know? It's not loud, the like neighbors are going off and things. Wow. So, if I gotta be my grace, you know, and, and just go with things, you know? Go with the flow. That's why I cannot emphasize enough for other people. It's my prayer for y'all that you really just sink in with that flow and that your security. Security in Christ, security in happiness, security in joy. You're not going to find happiness just chasing dick girls. Guys, chasing pussy by providing them this, that, everything else. Getting them, buying them their cigarettes, buying them their drinks, whatever, food. It's got to be even and fair. Another 20 minute video.